What is up, everybody? I am here today to show you my pipe making script, inspired completely by the god awful process of making pipes in Maya. Yay! Alright, let's go. So, I have a lot to go over, so I'm going to try to go as quickly as I can, but still make this good and useful. So, you have your main GUI, you have all these main buttons, quick settings, other options, and under main buttons, there's start add pipe. Go ahead and click that, and you get your starter pipe. Under here, you have your sliders, which edit the sub-axis, sub-height, width, scale, curve, amount, and rotation of curve. And you can do that for every single one. So when I get the right one, I go ahead and hit add pipe, and do the same thing. Let's do some edits to it, and you can see that it is quite simple to just start really nailing out a pipe shape with the script. And you can see, when you change the actual subdivisions, that before you finish, it is not quite lined up, but the script will automatically find the most unobtrusive twist amount to the pipe's edge flow to make a nice smooth edge along, along the entire pipe. And from there, you can keep going, add things, and say though, however, that you screw up. So right in the middle of this pipe, I wanted to change this value, and now I think it's too late. Nope! Go ahead over here and click on the pipe, click on connect controls, and under here you can change everything that you changed before on the fly and it'll just recalculate everything up the chain. A really cool option is this checkbox here called use auto curve update and when you check that on you can see when I change the curve amount it is actually previewing the curve as I change it before I finish and then when I finish it applies the correct amount of calculations to to snap the other curve to. Moving on now to some other sections of this script. We have these quick setting buttons. I'll just go ahead and try to get this to set up here. So I'm going to hit add pipe and you can see here I have these quick buttons. There's bend 90, bend 45, bend 0, rotate 90, and rotate negative 90. And they do exactly what they say. So if you hit bend 90 it'll set this curve to 90 and if it's already set at 90 and you hit it again it'll go ahead and make a new curve. So it's really quick to just sit there, bend 90, you know, bend 90, rotate 45, you know, just make a bunch of curves, straight ones, etc. And now if you notice, there's a lot of over edge flow going on here. And thankfully, there is a fancy button that I've equipped in here for your use that optimizes based off curve angle on the pipes. So if you go ahead and click optimize all pipes, It'll go through the entire chain and optimize that pipe. If you want to just optimize one pipe, you can go up to any pipe, hit connect control, and then hit optimize control pipe, and it'll optimize that pipe for you individually and keep everything different. So I'm going to hit optimize all pipes, and one more thing to show you here before I hit finish pipe is uh, the auto optimize pipe is similar to auto curve update. And when these both combined, it's auto-updating as well as auto-optimizing. So if I have this pipe here, I am going to start bending it. And you can see on the fly, it is adding the segments while I'm updating it. So you can see how many segments roughly, actually, you can see how many segments that it's making on the script. So I'm just going to go ahead and, you know, do a couple more tweaks. And then once I feel like this pipe is finished, I can go ahead and hit finish pipe. And what this did is it took all of these pipe segments, merged them together, created some UVs, and made a layout like this. A nice, very clean, unitized pipe layout, which is super handy for just going in and now UVing. And what's really cool is everything is still there for you to edit. So if I make another change to the pipe, hit finish pipe, I have another pipe with that edit in there. Now at any time you can go in to each pipe and since they're all based off of group nodes under each individual pipe, you can hit, you can click on one, hit the up arrow to select the group, and then hit delete. And then go from there. So you go over here, up arrow, delete, go from there. And so it'll always add on to the last pipe. When you are completely finished, 
with this pipe and all the other pipes, you can go on to your main node, hit up so that it shows that you have everything selected, which is Z group one, and hit delete. Then you're done. You have your pipes, do whatever you want to them, and that's about it. So I hope that this helps. I would appreciate any feedback that you guys could give me, anything at all, even if it's bad, even if it's awesome. Just go ahead and leave it on the Polycount page. I'll get back to you. Um, so yeah, have a good day. Enjoy the script. Bam, 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 bam. Boom. Yeah, we're making pipes, making pipes, man. I'm just making some random pipes. Oh, yeah, pipes. Yeah. All right, I'm going to go now.